Yeah, man, say all praises and honor and to you how we are sharing with Shai Ba, Shai Ba Kodash and Dublin and Slay Passes and the Elders of Great Mill Stone Shalom well, to all the brothers out there pushing this truth in our sincerity and in our honesty This is the brother from James, um, Jamaica Cam um, Yes, am I? Yes, sir I war I don't want to do um, a lesson and slavery you know, because you know, you know, slavery basically plays a very important role um, in our history, right? So called Negroes, you know, Latinos and Native American Indians, which are the true because Israelite today. Right? And even until this very day, it's all people still, you know, are basically um, been um, traumatized over the whole thing. What happened to our four parents? Right, going back during the time of slavery. Right, so what happened in the past affects us even until this very day. Right, and then we are we also approaching the time now when our Heavenly Father, the Hawa, true name in Hebrew, and his son name is the Hawa Shai. Right, we're going to basically put back our enemy, our number one enemy in slavery, which is Esau, Edom, the so called white man. We're approaching the time now when they're going to face hardcore slavery, double time where we got you as a nation. Right, you can go on, brother. Um, this is the article from the Jamaica Gleaner. And it's a shocking reminder, reminders of slavery. Gun. It says, um, it says, it says, we highlight a period of human history when slavery left deep scars not only on bodies that bore the physical abuse but on the but on the souls of generations to come. Right. It says, there is not there is not anything human about that period of history. Here are some of um sobering, sobering reminders. See? So basically you have a lot of people out here some of the time they maybe think that when you tell them about slavery. I ask them if they remember the days of slavery. A lot of people say, basically they say, I never damn it happened to them. So it, it not come no way to them, man. Okay. But it actually leave that scar and, and, and generations and generations to come. Okay. Because who benefit from, from, the, from the back of from, from this, um, the back of slavery? The, the so-called white man benefit to them. Okay. Who suffer from it? Our people. Okay. See? Isaiah 1 and 5, brother. This is Isaiah 1, verse 5. One. It says, um, Why should. Isaiah 1, verse 5. Gone. Why should ye be stricken anymore? Gone. Ye will revolt more and more. People uh, revolt more and more. People have been rebellious from the time we four parents are left from out of the Egypt. Even until this very day, people are rebellious. Right. And to the Heavenly Father. They keep on rebelling, you know, coming up to this time. Right? So she said, why should he be stricken anymore? Right? In Jeremiah, so, Jeremiah 5 and 3, she so said, oh Lord, I'm stricken them, they no grief. Right? Right? Go on. So, um, the whole head is sick Can? and the whole heart faint. Can, so, what happened? Going back to the time of slavery, as the brother going to the article, even until this very day, our people, you know, still, abuse, still um, affecting our people mentally. Right? Right? right. 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 With, with the Stockholm Syndrome. Yeah. Because our people, um, in the, um, Stockholm Syndrome, are kill our people, man. Done. See? They got them, them end up uh, actually love, love the, um, them chapter more than even their own self and even their own people around them. See? Huh? Yeah. Okay. Okay. From the sole of thy feet, Can. even unto the head, there is no soreness in it, Can. but wounds and bruises and petrifying sores. Can. They have not been closed, Can. neither bound up, neither mollified with ointments. Can. Your country is desolate, your cities are burned with fire, Can. your land strangers devour in your presence. Can. So if I say, our country is desolate, right? And our land, strangers are devoid in our presence. So why are we basically, you know, over this side of the world and over our scatter through the folk on the earth, you know, you have our enemy in our land. You also you have a certain um, Israelite even amongst them. Right? Go on, brother. Say. Don't go further, don't go further. It says, um, 
says the tongue, the tongue restraint, or one of the instruments that they use. Gun. He says a tongue restraint, also sometimes referred to as iron bit or gag, was one of the many torture devices used to um to intimidate and punish enslaved persons. Gun. Then the restraint is a thin strip of metal that was that was fitted around the head uh -huh. and mouth then and then lock at the at the at the nape of the neck Gun. then this restraint was used for a variety of purposes Gun. then the most common use to prevent um, the wearer from communicating with others, then so guess what? Them, them use that that tongue restraint and put on your neck, then gag your tongue, then that's okay. Yeah, move, yeah, because you know you need to move your mouth to speak and everything. Mm. So it's, it actually stops you from communicating. Then, mm. then there's a part of it. So can white man plan? Then because you know it's a communication. Then you can you can come up with plans to try to overthrow him, man. Then, then lock at the nape of the neck. This restraint is a, is a, I mean, so the most common was to prevent the, the wearer from communicating with others. Gun. It was also used to starve victims as punishment due to their um, infraction when used to starve, to, to starve. Nothing could be swallowed not even saliva Gun. so it's, these are the things our four parents got through right um going back during the time of slavery right as his brother mentioned let our people today you know um the topic of slavery come up right them try to say you know at the time of the past you know forgot about that Gun. but yeah. these are the things our four parents got through and what where, where these men are both the right now i got way more worse uh, than even these things that happen to our four parents Gun. what what they want to do right now I'm going to make slavery look like a walk in the park. So all these things we read are going to the article, you know, what happened to four parents. These men are going to do way more rules of things at the time to come. Because right now we're approaching the time of Jacob's trouble. You know, without a doubt, we can clear stuff. We're approaching the time right now when these men are going to go all out. The scripture said they're going to be like what? Madman sparing mm -hmm. none. Yeah. What? Yeah. You have a scripture, brother? Uh, this is Zechariah 1, verse 15. Go on. It says, um, and I am very dis and I am very sore displeased with the Edens that are at ease. Go on, since you must say the Lord, sore displeased with the Eden that are at ease. Go on. For I was but a little displeased, Go on. and they held forward the affliction. So they held forward our affliction, so them them glad for basically you know oppress us here. Go on. Right, these Eden nation, they glad for oppress us because you know going back during the time. You know, a King David to um, Solomon, we have all these, you know, nation, you know, tributary unto us. Gun. So now they finally get the chance to afflict us, them, them basically, I'm glad to do it to you. Hmm. Right, go on. Yeah. Um, go on. Continue that. On. Lam uh, go on. Uh, Lamentations 2, verse 15. Go on. So all that pass by clap their hands at thee. They is and walk their head at the daughters of Jerusalem, go on. saying, this, Is this the city that man called the perfection of beauty. So this is what these Eden nation, you know, been saying about us, you know, from, from back then, you know, come to this time. Yeah. Right? So aid for these um Eden nation, even the so-called white people, them know them know that we are the true because Israelite, the regular, you know, Eden nation um Helamites, Moabite, you know, Ishmaelite, you know, are are are, are basically Edomite, might not know. Um so we are the true biblical Israelite but the top Top leaders for them right. know that we are the true biblical Israelites. They know right. that we are the chosen Can. people. They say, the joy of the whole earth, Can. Um, all thine enemies have opened their mouth against thee. Can. They is and gnash their teeth. Can. They say, We have swallowed her up, certainly this day that we look for. Can. Certainly, this is the day they look for. Can. Right? Can. Basically, I was, you know. They said, Come, let us cut them off from being a nation. So that the name of Israel will be no more remembrance. He says, certainly this is the day that we look for. Um, we have found 
we have seen it. Gone. It says, um, it says one particularly gruesome and barbaric use of, of this um, implement was to force feed was to force feed enslaved um, excrement the victim would be restrained and animal are um, and animal or human excrete oh, excretement would be forced into their mouth then, and the, the restraint was then applied to the mouth oh, and yeah. lock around the face. Oh, like the movie, for example, yeah. um, you know, goodbye Uncle Tom, you know, them flick out the front teeth and push the funnel. Yeah. You know. Right. And the mouth and then they must chew it. You know, think through the funnel. That's how that's what them basically do back then because like I say them want to eat. The human and animal waste, you know. Them, them them force down the people, them force down the throat, you know, our ancestors them mouth then. And lock it. That means you can't spit it out. Then force it and lock your mouth. You can't spit out whatever they put in your mouth, you have to swallow it, man. Then mm. it's all them things them and that's the scripture say um the scripture say basically remember eat them. Yeah, then, dear Lord, remember he don't men. And then he, in 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 when, when he said raise it, raise it, man. Mm -hmm. Them do them do all kind of wickedness and grow some. The Lord says since there was eight not eight it blood, blood shall pursue them, man. Then we got scripture, brother. Ezekiel thirty-five, verse five. Ezekiel. Ezekiel 35, verse 5. What? It says, Because thou hast had a perpetual age, and hast shed the blood of the children of Israel. You can't, you must say, shed the blood of the children of Israel. Right? Okay. So called white man, you know, been basically destroying us, slaughtering our poor parents. You know, as I mentioned, we're going back to the time of slavery. What happened to the Native American Indian? Right? The Latinos. Right, all these things with these men, these men been, been um, do to four people, you know, from going back then, come up to this now, or come up to now, all now, then they basically pay. Right? And you brother? Right, so because thou hast ate, thou hast had a perpetual hatred, Can't? and has shed the blood of the children of Israel by the force of the sword Can't? in the time of their calamity, Can't? in the time that their iniquity had end, had an end, one? had an end. Say, therefore, as I live, say the Lord Yahweh. Therefore, as I live, say the Lord. Yahweh, I will prepare thee unto blood, Can? and blood shall pursue thee. Can. So you say, I'm going to pay you, regardless, you know, way, you know, let our people feel about, you know, what happened to our poor parents, you know, during the time of slavery, they don't like it basically forgotten. Even, even I'm out in Jamaica now, we have, you know, February, you know, February is Black History Month. Uh -huh. Right? And you know, out in Jamaica now see how they try to water down the whole thing because now they want to turn February now. Reggae month. Reggae month yeah. So they try to shun the whole slavery thing all together. Okay. Since thou hast not ate it blood, even blood shall pursue thee. Go on. This says this implement this implement of torture was used was used was also used in case of um, resistance where slaves attempt by starvation because still still people is like starve themselves they starve themselves because them they more of a dead man so them rather die more than go through the, the horrible tortures man so they don't eat nothing and even um, this, this um, book i think a person the gear passes them basically do I'm listen to it. When, when um, the slaves come over here, uh, certain slaves that basically, you know, big ass slaves basically um, strangle them to death Can't. because they can't bear the, the, the affliction of basically on the, on the boat. Can't. Right, because, because of the boat was uh, uh, also basically you know, tight, packing, right? Well packed. So a lot of them they ask slaves basically strangle them. And even um, sometimes. The, the slaves 
when them get a ta- chance to get washed, they would then try to jump off the boat, say. Yeah. Right? And get eaten by shark and all them stuff. Inside, right? Because a lot of shark used to follow them slave ships because you'd have um, the bodies that chew off, you'd have um, different food and them things that chew off. So shark used to follow them ships, slave ships. So a lot of slaves get eaten by sharks. In the sense, um, in the sense they were, were attempt um, by starvation or by ingesting poisonous substance. In, enslaved persons would be forced to wear the device, then force feed water and bread to keep them alive. Hmm. See? Yeah. They said so them, them force them to wear the device that them can't poison themselves. See? And them could have use it to gag them out so them can't open it. So them can't force feed them and shut it, man. So them have to, them, them actually have to eat. Stay alive because guess what? They want the slave of the merchandise and they want the merchandise to make money off. Right. When they come over on this side. Then, um, um, you know, have, you term 28? Yeah, bring it, yeah, bring it. Yeah. You term yeah, 28? Yeah, I'm going to think about bringing it. You term 28? Verse 48. Verse 48. Yeah. Verse 48. Say, um, Therefore, Shall thou serve thine enemies, which the Lord shall sin against thee? Okay, so this is a part of the curse, you know, what the scripture say, you know, what basically befall us, you know, Israelite. Right? So, you know, Moses basically was the one that, the, how, how basically, they give the laws to give to the Israelite. Right? So, part of the curse, we're going to befall us, you know, especially, you know, in, in, in the, during the time of slavery, as the brother going at the article. Okay. Right? He said, read a part again, brother, from mm-hmm. top again. Mm-hmm. Therefore shall thou serve thine enemy. So said, Therefore shall thou serve thine enemy. Right, go on. Which the Lord shall send against thee. So the Lord the one who send these men against us here. Right? Basically, you know, punish us to transgress the laws and status being given to us. Right? Because if you go up to verse 15 and tell us it. Right? Um, if we know basically hearken unto the device of the Heavenly Father. And the way he said we're supposed to do, all the curses are going to pour upon us. Right? So part of the curse. It's basically all four parents get brought into hardcore slavery. Right? Go on, brother. Yeah. Um, and in thirst and in nakedness Go on. and in want of all things. Go on. This is a key point I want to get to. Go on. And ye shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck. So if I say you're going to put a yoke of iron upon our neck, so enemy is going to put a yoke of iron upon our neck. That's why I'm to four parents you know, during the time of slavery. As a brother ever read about even the, the iron thing when they put around them, them basically, their mouth. Right? So these things are what we happen to us. Right? Go on. Until he have destroyed thee. Go on. Jump to verse 45 now. Because um. them destroyed them destroyed with physically Go on. and mentally men. Go on. They, they get to every single thing and they, and from us. Spiritually also. Go on. 45 or 6. Yeah right. man, 45. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Um. Determine 28 and 45. Gone. Moreover, all these curse shall come upon thee Gone. and shall pursue thee and overtake thee. So, all these curses, what the scripture say, I go happen to us. Yeah, we're the one who fulfill all these curses. Gone. Right, so this is a part of, you know, um, prove that we are the true because biblical the, Israelite today so. because we're the one who fulfill all these curses. Right? Go on. Right. And shall pursue thee Gone. and overtake thee Gone. till thou be destroyed, Gone. because thou art not unto the voice of the Lord thy power Gone. to keep his commandment Gone. and his statue which, is, which he commanded thee. Gone. Right. Continue. And they shall be upon thee so for these, a sign. All these curses are going to be upon us for a sign. Right? Go on. And for a wonder. And for a wonder. And up on thy seed forever. God, I know we're approaching the time now when the Heavenly Father is going to remove all these curses from off of us as a nation because we reach in our punishment according to um, Lamentation you know, 4 and verse 22. Right? So, go on, brother. Finish. I have a, mm-hmm. have a quick one. Go on. um, 2 Thessalonians 1 verse 6. On. Seeing it is a righteous thing with Yahweh. To recompense tribulation unto them that trouble you. Can so it's a righteous thing in the heavenly father for basically pay back, you know, Esau, Edom, the so-called white people, you know, everything went to us, you know, as a nation, especially even when the brother I read about now what happened to our four parents, you know, going back during the time of slavery. 
Yep. It's a righteous thing with every father. We basically pay them up. Right. And, and, and for sure that the trauma is real, you have our people actually using bleaching cream hardy, yeah. right, just to look like master. Yeah, right. Things in the market um a liking for master or the whole thing or acceptance from master. From the society. Yeah, from the society, um, yeah, can't push it right. Push it, eh? Can because it was it was divided by colours um once eh, where lighter skinned people get um privilege over darker skinned people. Eh? Which is right. Right? Which is also social engineering. It says um this one is the, um, the neck restraint. It says the neck restraint are are also known as um prong or our slave colours. These starch well, going back to what the brother with earlier on in um in, in um, due to um, 28 and um and um forty eight. See my put away yoke of iron around the neck. Okay. Right, continue brother until it be destroyed go on. Says, these starch devices were made of iron Run. and were used to um to discipline and and identify enslaved persons Run. who were considered at risk of becoming runaways or who previously had attempt to run away. Run. Then it was also used to identify persons who may have been caught stealing or who had committed other, other, other very serious, you see it, transgressions, you see it, <laughs> you see it, you have people on the, um, basically, um, hard, hardcore slave, see it, treating them in the worst ways, see it, them probably are steal to eat, See, I run away to save them life, and you call it a serious transgression. Let me show you the, all, all the so-called white man, yeah, the, can, um, all this all so-called white man think, man. Then, then, um, um, and a previous attempt to run away are also used to identify um, other very serious transgression. He said this device stopped says this device stopped them from running away again as the spike ends prevented the wearer from moving into any areas um, with trees or bushes <laughs> See? because if because if caught in bushes the color causes the wearer's neck to jerk violently see? and slowly their ability to escape thus allowing them to be recaptured easily. Yeah. So, so some of them, yeah. are, some of them, them, I know, them put on the neck of some little bell on it, so they are only make nice. So it's easy for them basically find them because they can hear the, the, the noise, you know, the, um, the, the bell and make the little bell. In, yes. allowing them to be captured easily Run. many times these colors were also outfitted with bells or pieces of iron Run. which ensure that the wearer could not move um, stealthily that, that, that stealthily stealth, actually mean move silently man then you move you see you move still you move silently. Then the mover, the two spikes sticking out would have made it almost impossible or painfully um, uncomfortable for a person wearing it to lie down or to lean ag up against any surface. So, so, so you have it on. You basically have to stand still in a year. You can't lean for nowhere and you can't lie down for getting the rest, man. So, uncomfortable. You're uncomfortable, man. Huh. See? Go on, brother. I'm going to check in my Psalms. Psalms 44 and verse 9. Psalms 44. Verse 9. 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 Ver
9 it says but thou hast cast off and put us to shame right so said, thou hast cast us off and put us to shame so you how about shame shall put us you know to shame Gun. right using you know lois you know the basis of men to basically do that you because you know you have the sons of god the sons of men and sons of the wicked which are the lois so using our enemy, the number one enemy to basically put us to shame. Right? We transgress the laws and statutes when given to us. You know, ultimately to fulfill prophecy because you know everything was predestined by the Heavenly Father. Come on, brother. And goeth and goeth not forth with our armies, Gone. thou makest us turn back from the enemy, Gone. and they which ate us spoil for themselves. Gone. Thou hast given us like sheep appointed for meat, Gun. and has scattered us among the Eden. Thou sellest thy people for naught. Can I count to the curse? The part of the curse is that we're going to scatter from one end of the earth, the even other. unto the other. Right. And the old people are going to serve other gods. So these things are what happen to us, you know, as a nation. Right, right. go on, brother. And it also mentioned in um, 68, um, 28 and 68, say we are going get sold to our enemies. enemies for ban man and ban woman and action blocks can yeah, can, can and no man shall buy you. can 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 right say so, um thou as sellest thy people for naught can and doest not increase thy wealth by their price can thou makest us to reproach to our neighbors a scorn and a derision to can. them that are round about can thou makest us a byword among the eden and all different names and calling us Right? Mm -hmm. Because that's a part of, you know, the scripture said to us. Alright, right, go on. A shaking of the head. Shaking of the head. Among Early on I read the scripture. Can, can. Um, in a limitation. limitation. Can. Alright. Among the people. My confusion is continually before me, and the shame of my face had covered me. Can. Give me um, one more scripture, brother. Close up. Give me um, Leviticus 26 and verse 7. Alright. Mm, Leviticus 26. And verse 7. Verse 7. Go on. It says, And ye shall chase your enemies, and they shall fall before you on, so, by the sword. So, this is what happened to our four parents, as I mentioned, going back during the time of slavery, right? We've been, 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 been basically running from you know, the slave patrols, you know, four parents, running right, from right. the plantation, as a brother. I mentioned the article, you know, the iron and then put on it, you know, basically, you know, make certain knives, and they can't go to a certain place because, you know, that we can. That would be so, uh, so heavy, um, violent around the neck. Can, right, can. but a coming, the coming months or the coming years to come, right, because we are approaching the time now when the Heavenly Father is going to basically give certain men of the Lord spiritual power. Right? right? Can. So this is how it will take place in the time to come. Before Prince has been running for years, he, like for example, in the movie, you know, um, Roots, Punta Kente, running down and chew, and chew on it over him and cast him. Right, and chop off and chop off in two and call him a Toby. Yeah. Right? But this is what the scriptures are going to take place in the time to come. Right? Read again, brother, from top. Right, it's um, back to verse 7. Gun. And ye shall cast your enemies. He shall chase your enemies. And ye shall chase your enemies. Gun. And they shall fall before you. They shall fall before us. Go on. By the sword. Go on. The scripture says, well, Wait ye upon me until the day that I rise up to the prayer. That's what we're doing. Waiting on the Heavenly Father. You know, basically give us that green light. So waiting patiently. Go on. And five of you shall chase an hundred. So five of you shall chase an shall basically chase an hundred. And right? hundred of you shall put ten thousand to flight. Go on. Because of certain men, as we mentioned, are going to receive spiritual power. The scripture tells you, When the enemy shall come in like a flood, the Spirit of the Lord will lift up a standard against him. So right. certain men are going to receive spiritual power. I will believe that, you know, through faith. So how about Hashem is going to give us power, you know? Right, go on. And your enemies shall fall before you God. by the sword. Exactly. Right. And so with that, I say all praises and honor unto yeah. you. Ba Hashem, Ba Hashem, Ba Hashem, Ba Kodash. And double hands to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. Shalom to all the brothers and out there pushing his truth in our sincerity and in all honesty. Inshallah.